Well, this morning we are introducing a new segment called Casa Cares. If you don't know already, Casa is an organization that helps children in the foster system with volunteers known as court appointed special advocates. Right here in Central Texas, they are making big changes in many children's lives. In Texas Today, reporter Meredith Haas joins me in the studio to explain more. Hey, Meredith, good morning. Good morning, Jasmine. These advocates play a vital role in helping to take care of children when they're placed in the foster care system. For the first segment of, Ca of Casa Cares, we wanted to put a focus on the advocates themselves to showcase the volunteers right in our backyard and one who has a truly inspiring story. It has been really nice to know that I can give them something that's going to stay the same no matter what. No matter where they are or who they're with, I'm going to be the one walking through the door, playing with them and talking to them. Before Beverly Ledbetter ever became a CASA advocate, she was a foster mother first. The very first CPS placement she took on came with a CASA. I told myself then, whenever I'm done with foster care, I'm going to be a CASA volunteer. So she wrapped up her four years of fostering with one more act of kindness. My 13th foster child is my now adopted youngest son, and I adopted him in February of 2019, and I got certified as a CASA volunteer February 2019. Beverly made a vow to be consistent when she became a CASA advocate. Now four years have gone by and she's been with the same children. It's been really rewarding to be able to stay on the case from the beginning to the end. And that's what every CASA hopes to be, that sense of normalcy. And to anyone who wants to join them in making one foster child's day better, they say this. As long as you're open and honest and consistent you're not doing anything wrong. I feel that every child uh, deserves to be uh, protected and for somebody to be watching out for them, especially when they're in a crisis such as a CPS active case. The kids are worth it and they deserve to have somebody that is willing to sacrifice the little bit that you have to sacrifice so that they can have somebody saying, hey, this is what's, this, this is what's best for me. They have somebody there. They have someone showing up, consistency, and it's worth it. So Jasmine, between Bell and Coriel County, there are 85 advocates, oh, volunteers, wow. and wow. but they are in need of more volunteers. So if you wanna become one, you can go to becomeacasa.org to sign up to be an advocate today. And you were telling me earlier mm -hmm. that your mother was a, fo a foster mother. And so she probably understands the need for people like CASA. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we had people coming in and out of our homes, like, you know, those uh, CASA volunteers helping to place children into our homes. So without them, yes, our foster care experience would not have been successful. So yes. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Meredith. Of course. Love that story. Can't thank wait you. to see all the rest of them coming.